Hey guys, so today I have live swatches of the Super Chic Nail Lacquer Into the Woods collection for fall of this year. There are 10 polishes, they are all super shimmery and super beautiful. So because there are 10, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it because it's going to take a little while. So on to the swatches. So this first one is called Witch's Agenda for Uberness and it is a black jelly base with some blue micro glitter and shimmer. So here is one coat of Witch's Agenda for Uberness on the bare nail. You can definitely tell a lot more on the nail that that base is black than you can when it's just in the bottle. It looks very blue in the bottle, but it definitely is more of a sheer black base. It's really like smoky and charcoal looking. The formula on this is nice too. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's a really good consistency. So that is definitely sheer on the first coat. You can see the black jelly base, but you can also really see that blue iridescent and blue shimmer in there. So I will go ahead and let this dry and we'll come back for the second coat. Okay, so this is two coats of Witch's Agenda for Uberness. It was a little bit streaky and sheer on the first coat. Let's try to even it out a little bit. One thing I really, really like about these is that they have a nice flat, wide brush and the stem of the brush is really short, so there's not like a ton of stem here compared to the cap, and it makes it really, really easy to polish with these. It's, um, I don't know, you get more control because you're not having to control this really long stem. So I made a mess there, but that is two coats of Witch's Agenda for Uberness. It's still a little bit streaky. I always miss that corner of my ring finger when I try to swatch on camera, but it's still a little bit, tiny bit patchy, and then I can still see my nail line through there as well, so I'm going to come back and do a third coat. So here is three coats of Witch's Agenda for Uberness. I think you could definitely get away with two coats. I just wanted to do three so I could cover up the nail line. You can see in that third coat the color really deepens. It makes it the base a lot more black and less, I don't know, browny looking. So that is three coats of Super Chick Nail Lacquer's Witch's Agenda for Uberness. Took three coats to be completely opaque, but that covered my nail line and it deepened the color um, so that it matches the color in the bottle. So this next one is called Nightshade Serum to Youth Like Actually, and it is a deeper reddish purple with green shimmer. So this is one coat of Nightshade Serum to Youth Like Actually over the bare nail. It's not too thick or too thin. And it looks like it covers a lot better than the last one too. And again, I really like these brushes because they make it really, really easy to apply. And the shimmer seems to stand out in this one a lot better also. So that is one coat of Nightshade Serum to Youth, like actually. So obviously it's gonna need more than one coat. So I will let that dry and come back and do the second coat. Okay, so here is two coats of Nightshade Serum to Youth, like actually. So you can see that darkens up a lot on the second coat. So that is two coats of Nightshade Serum to Youth, like actually. Um, it deepened up a lot on the second coat and you could probably get away with just doing two coats, but I can still see my nail line and it's still a tiny bit patchy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do three. Okay, so here is three coats of Nightshade Serum to Youth Like Actually. You can see that deepens up even more on the third coat. The third coat is definitely what makes it match the color in the bottle, but if you don't mind, a tiny bit of nail line. These aren't super patchy, so you can also wear them at two coats. I don't think anybody would really notice um, to you if you want like a lighter color. But so far it looks like it takes three coats to get the color in the bottle for this one. So that is three coats of Nightshade Serum to Youth Like Actually. So this next one is Baker's Hunger for a Bun in the Oven and it is a slate blue with copper shimmer. So here is one coat of Baker's Hunger for a Bun in the Oven over the bare nail. The formula is the same on this one. It's not too thick or too thin. It's really, really nice. 
this polish looks like it's going to be sheer. The thing about these, even though they are sheer on one coat, they do build really, really easily. So that is one coat of Baker's Hunger for a bun in the oven. So I'm going to let that dry and come back and do a second coat. So here is two coats of Baker's Hunger for a bun in the oven. It's like the other ones, the shimmer is really, really strong on this one. So that is two coats of Baker's Hunger for a bun in the oven. It's really close to opaque, but it's not quite there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a third coat. So here is three coats of Baker's Hunger for a bun in the oven. What I like about these is that they actually don't show any brush strokes really. You'd think that with shimmer like this you'd be able to see some brush strokes, but you really can't. And I'm not one to apply these things super evenly either. That is three coats of Baker's Hunger for a bun in the oven. Three coats for you to completely cover the nail line and to get the color in the bottle. The shimmer is really, really strong on this one. So this next one is called Golden Delicious Curse, and this is a deeper pinkish red with a green golden shimmer to it. The shimmer in this one is a little bit finer than in the last few polishes. So this is one coat of Golden Delicious Curse. This one seems to be a bit more opaque than the last few. It's covering a little bit better on the first coat. The formula is about the same. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Really easy to work with. So that is one coat of Golden Delicious Curse. I can still see my nail lines. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and come back and do a second coat. So here is two coats of Golden Delicious Curse. This one I'm also noticing has a bit more brush strokes to it than the other ones. And again, I think that's just because the shimmer is so much finer in this one. So you have to try to be careful to keep your lines straight if you don't want the brush strokes to go all over the place like mine are. But I really love the shimmer in this one. So that is two coats of Golden Delicious Curse. I can still see my nail line a tiny bit if I hold my fingers like directly up to the light, but I do have really close to what's in the bottle on my nails. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one at two coats, but I think if you're really picky, you would probably want to do three. So the next color is called Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. This one is a darker brown with a lot of silver shimmer and some red shimmer also. So this is one coat of Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. This one looks like it's going to be sheer. The shimmer is very apparent and it definitely looks more brown once it's out of the bottle as well. The formula on this one is really good too. Okay, so that is one coat of Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. I will let that dry and come back and do the second coat. So here is two coats of Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf, and it is crazy storming outside, so hopefully the power doesn't go out. That actually covers really well on two coats. It seemed like it was going to be really sheer, but yeah, that actually covers really well on the second coat. I'll probably still do third, three because I can see the nail line, but I'm really surprised at the difference between one and two coats. So yeah, that is two coats of Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. I will go ahead and do a third coat, so I'll be back. Here is three coats of Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. And that gets nice and dark. I like colors that are really, really dark like this, especially when they have all this crazy sparkle in them, so it makes me happy to see how dark this gets on three coats. So that is definitely the color in the bottle. It's covering really well, except for that little spot that I always miss. So that is three coats of Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. So this next one is called Let Your Hair Down and Take a Selfie, and it is a golden yellow with a copper shimmer. So this is one coat of Let Your Hair Down and Take a Selfie. The shimmer in this one is really strong. You can also see that it's sheer, 
but the formula is really good. Not too thick, not too thin, as I flood my cuticle. Oh, I made a mess out of that, but that is one coat of let your hair down and take a selfie. You can obviously still see my nail line, so I'm going to come back and do a second coat. So here is two coats of let your hair down and take a selfie. You can see that it's still sheer, you can still see the nail line. I think this one's going to have a real hard time being completely opaque just because it is a light yellow but it's definitely a lot more yellow on the second coat. But the shimmer is still strong. So that is two coats of Let Your Hair Down and Take a Selfie. Um, I will come back and do a third coat because I can still see the nail line. So here is three coats of Let Your Hair Down and Take a Selfie. That actually covers a lot better. You can still see the nail line a bit, but it's not obvious. And three coats definitely gives you the color in the bottle. I feel like in between these coats I've noticed that it's a lot more yellow when it's wet and there's a lot more shimmer when it's dry. If you can see the difference between my ring and pinky finger. Granted, pinky finger has two coats, but it just seems like there's a lot more shimmer after it dries down. It's three coats of Let Your Hair Down and Take a Selfie. So this next one is called You Don't Know Jack About My Beans and is an olive green with a pink kind of iridescent. This one is the only one that's really not showing true to color so far. It's a lot more green in the bottle and in real life than it looks on camera right now. So this is one coat of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. This one looks very, very sheer. The formula is the same as the other ones though. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Really easy to work with. This one, color wise, at least in the bottle, I think is my favorite. I just really, really like greens. So that is one coat of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. It's obviously sheer, so I'm going to come back and do a second coat. So here is two coats of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. still sheer, but it's building okay. But that is two coats of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. I can still see my nail lines. So I'm going to come back and do a third coat. Here is three coats of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. The shimmer in these ones is just amazing. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to cover my nail line in three coats. I'm not going to do four coats on camera, just because it's, it would take too long. But um, just know that it's not completely covered in three coats. So if you really wanted that last bit of nail line covered, you would have to do four. So that is three coats of You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. So this next one is called If the Golden Slipper Fits, and it is a pale gold with blue shimmer. So here's one coat of If the Golden Slipper Fits. So this one is very light. The formula is really good. Um, not too thick, not too thin, like I've said for all of them. Even though it's very light, it seems like it's very sheer, but it's covering my nail line pretty well on one coat. I mean, for this, considering this collection, it's covering my nail line pretty well. The shimmer in this and the sparkle is just insane. I think this is easily like the most shimmery and sparkly one in the collection. So that is one coat of If the Golden Slipper Fits. So here is two coats of If the Golden Slipper Fits. It still covers really well, but it's gonna need three coats. Uh, maybe it's just that I'm surprised that it covers so well because it's such a light color. But again, the shimmer in this is just amazing. I feel like once this is completely full coverage, it's going to look like a really amazing nude and not so much like a gold. But that might just be because of my skin tone too. It's a very light gold and I have very light skin tone. So that is two coats of If the Golden Slipper Fits. And here is three coats of If the Golden Slipper Fits. That is pretty opaque on 
three coats. It's not 100%, but you'd have to really hold it up to the light and really look to still be able to see the nail line. I think because of the really, really strong shimmer in this, it helps make the polish more opaque. Actually, I really like this. This is going to be like the surprise favorite of the collection, I think. So that is three coats of If the Golden Slipper Fits. So this next one is Little Vampy Riding Hood, and it is a deep red with copper shimmer, and it also has a lot of scattered holographic in it. Most of these polishes are listed as having holographic in them, but this one has the strongest. So here is one coat of Little Vampy Riding Hood. This one, like the other one, seems to be in more of a jelly base. So it's a bit sheer. The formula is really good though, really easy to work with. Comes off really pink, but I think that's again just because it's one coat, because a lot of the other ones that I looked at, they deepened up quite a bit after the third coat. So now that I made a mess, that is one coat of Little Vampy Riding Hood. This is two coats of Little Vampy Riding Hood. That actually deepens up a lot on the second coat, but I'm noticing just a little bit of patchiness. And these build really, really well. I think the reason that they're almost all three coaters is just because the base is jelly, and that's just what you get with jelly, they're sheer. So that is two coats of Little Vampy Riding Hood. You can see there's a little bit of nail line and a little bit of patchiness, so I'm gonna go ahead and do three coats, but the sparkle in this is just crazy. So this is three coats of Little Vampy Riding Hood. So it's even darker on three coats. I always think that it's as dark as it's going to get and then I add that last coat and it's not quite there. So three coats definitely completely covers everything and evens out the patchiness issue that I had. That is three coats of a little vampy riding hood. So the last one is called Fumbling Fairy Tales and this is a pinky purple base with green shimmer. This is one coat of Fumbling Fairy Tales. The formula is the same as the other ones. It's really nice, it's not super thick, it's not thin or watery. It's a bit sheer, but it's not terrible. That is one coat of Fumbling Fairy Tales. So here is two coats of Fumbling Fairy Tales. So two coats is almost there for this one. It covers really well, but you can still see the nail line. And I did have it a little bit thicker on my middle finger because I was trying to fix that corner of it that I always miss. And I can see where the color is a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to do three coats just to go ahead and get the color in the bottle. So that is two coats of Fumbling Fairy Tales. So here is three coats of Fumbling Fairy Tales. This one covered pretty well on two coats. I think you could definitely get away with two coats, but I wanted to get the color that's in the bottle, and it was still a little bit too light on two coats to match the bottle, so I went ahead and did three. All these polishes did dry a tiny bit dull. Not really bad, but I think if you wanted them glossy, you would definitely want a top coat. Super Chick Nail Lacquer actually just came out with a top coat that it dries in 30 seconds and um, very, very, very high gloss. So that is releasing the same day as these polishes, which is September 1st. So that is three coats of Fumbling Fairy Tales. So that is the entire Into the Woods collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link Super Chick Nail Lacquer down below. These polishes come out September 1st, well as the top coat that Super Chick Nail Lacquer is releasing. So I'll link them down below so you guys can check it out, and I will talk to you later. Bye.